Hello, and welcome to our latest Colossal Kaiju Comet development video. Uh, tonight we're going to be showing off Robo Komododon, who has not been seen thus far. Um, I was just sitting here working on uh, hooking up some of her last animations, and I thought I would record the process so everyone can see what we've got going on here. Uh, so, uh, here's Robo Komododon! Now you'll notice I have a lot of debug information up. Uh, one of the more important things is that head tracking is now turned on. Uh, by default, because I, I don't have another character here, uh, she is looking at that uh, point in the center of the world. You can see her head is always trying to look at that. Uh, in the game, of course, the, the monsters are trying to look at each other. Um, so this affects the way we'll see her animations a little bit. You'll also notice that we have tail physics working. If I spin, her tail kind of follows her around. If I jump, the tail goes up and down. See those series of nodes behind her? Those are uh, showing the blend between the animation of the tail and the procedural tail position. Um, anyway, so uh, often when I'm working the game, I have various debug options on on like this. Uh, I can also turn on video colliders and all sorts of other fun things. Uh, we also have the the weapon tracking in, uh, which is very similar to the head tracking, but we have a little default effect there. You can see. Uh, fires right out of the mouth. Obviously we don't have an animation for that, but particle effects, exciting stuff. Uh, she also has a weapon node in her belly, uh, so she'll be able to fire a, a weapon from her belly as well. Um, so, let's do... So what we're looking at right here is the sort of the, the dynamic character who's doing all the exciting procedural things. Well, let's turn that off and let's just take a look at um, uh, animations. So. This character you notice is missing all the other stuff because this is just a video, or rather, you know, this is just the uh, animation data playing in its raw state. This is the landing from jump anim, and I'm not very fond of it because it's just stationary here, and it begins with the toes kind of touching the ground, the legs bent a bit oddly. It's not too bad, um, but I I think we could do better, so I'm writing it up. So there we go. Yes. Um. Here is the hop left anim. Aha! And that is terrible um, because this is actually not Robocomodon's hop left animation. That is Komododon's hop left animation trying to play on Robocomodon's skeleton. But if we fix this, there we go. Whoosh! Robo slide. That is excellent. Uh, and how about we go to the right? Robo slide, yes, that's pretty sweet. I'm very happy with that. What about the backwards hop? Um, ooh, that's very fast. Uh, a bit of a more traditional hop. I don't know that I'm thrilled with that one. I'm gonna say 90% done. Yeah, I'm not gonna write a specific fix note on it, but I'm gonna say I'm 90% satisfied with that. Um, reaction animations. There are a lot of these. It's not sexy, but something's got to be done. Um, okay, um, that's clearly not okay. Because it's backwards. It's also incredibly slow. Let's see. Brace, back hit. Backwards. <laughs> Yes. Brace front hit. Also backwards. Oh my. Are they all backwards? No. Nope. Hit in the back. Flinch. That seems fine. Hit in the front. Flinch. Also okay. Stagger. Hit in the back. Stagger means you have to take a little step forward and there'll be some procedural sliding as well. Stagger from the front. Stagger from the left. Stagger from the right. Stagger from an overhead attack. Good. Stagger from an uppercut. Most uppercuts will do knockdowns, but some characters, Robocomodoron maybe one of these, uh, resist attacks and don't get knocked down as far. Um, Mechagodzilla 2 in the Save the Earth was like that. Here we go. Knockdown from behind. 
Yes. Knock down from the front. Not very good. Just stop that so we don't go crazy. Uh, knock down from the left. That looks okay. Knock down from the right. Good. Overhead knock down. Oh, that's commoted on again. Let's see if we've got Robo. -ro. Robo commoted on. Knock down. Overhead. There we go. Different length. Yeah. So it's cool. Not very inspired. I'm gonna put down a fix on that. I'll go that seventy percent. Uh, great. Not too bad for those knockdowns. Uh, prone. Do we have Robo commoted on prone face down? Yes. Just breathing slowly, prone face down. Prone face down, get up. Yes, good. It's animated slow, but we can do that a little faster in game. Um, let's see, prone face down. It's okay. Um, Timing fix on the face down get up. Face down hit. Robocomoted on. Prone. Face down hit. This is a special reaction if you get clobbered. Yes. Acceptable. Uh, prone. Face down roll. Nope. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, I give that 20% acceptability. Uh, prone face up. Sorry, this is taking a little time. I'm, I'm having to fix each of these as I get there. Wow, the prone face up is literally just sunk into the ground. That is horrible. Um, face up, get up. Yes, no punches were pulled here tonight. You are looking at these as I look at them. Uh, face down, get up. There, oh, there we go. So, it looks okay, except that it's sunk in the ground. <laughs> okay. I'm going to up that to 40% done. Uh, prone face up hit. For prone face up hit. Yes, good. Still sunk in the ground, of course. Uh, and the flip. So we only roll from a face down position, and so when we are in face up position, we have to flip face down to face up. Yeah, the first half a roll. Uh, it's all sunk in the ground. Fabulous. Okay. Uh, more reactions. Fall face up. Wow. I think. Oh, let's see. Is that... I'm seeing a strange point there. You see that? Yes, it looks like part of her tail is animating with her foot. That is actually a skinning problem. Not really a problem in the animation, but let's just make a note of it here. Uh, fall face up. Right foot and tail seem to be linked. The skinning match the convention. Yep. 
uh, fall face down. Whoa! That seems fine. Really accentuating the belly. I'm gonna land right on that node. Um, fall face down. That seems okay. Other than it's too high. Fall face down impact. Yes. Uh, stunned. Oh no, I'm stunned. This is sort of a dizzy, orgasm, paralyzing goo style thing. Um, face up impact. Let's see, riding up these. Make it better. Good. Um, stunned. It's okay. That's kind of what we're doing. Uh, stunned shake off. It's a transition from stunned to there. All right. Uh, the tail's in the ground. <laughs> kind of cottony mouth thing going on. That's all right. But the, the tail's in the ground. We could fix that. Tail in ground. Choking. I don't know why robots would choke, but all robots have a choking animation. That to me does not. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. It's a little more of a cough than a choke, but we can't complain. Frozen. Boom. There is literally no animation on it because you're frozen. Frozen begin. Oh no. Hmm. I do not like that at all. Uh, although it is sort of cinematic, it assumes that you're being impacted from something in the front that is freezing you, which is not a safe assumption. Uh, yes. Let's see. So I'm going to say that has to be major reworked. Hurt hand. For punching Angiris. Oh, my hand. Oh, ouch, it hurts. That's cool. Hurt foot. Eh. Not great, but I don't have a specific problem with it. It's just not very good. Hurt hand is acceptable. All right. Those were reactions. Oh, so many of them. Attacks. This is what you've been wanting. Uh, although I have been playing with this character for a while, and I know that some of the attacks <laughs> were really not good. Uh, but, let's see. Basic punch. It's okay. Uh, I have a hard time hitting with it because of the way it uh, doesn't reach very far in front of the uh, character. But uh, it looks okay, and it's thematic. Punch two. Much better. It swoops in and hits things. Um, I'll make a note here that uh, some of the audio design for Robocop wanted on, I'm not thrilled with. It's a little overpowering. Um, although I, I appreciate when people take big risks with the audio. Uh, chain two is totally fine. Um, the double fist hit is fine. Chain away. That is pretty much what I asked for. I feel like there's a little too much hesitation before it hits. I'm going to say too much weight and ask for a fix on that. Um, chain down. Yes. I really like this uppercut. Let me scrub through it. Um, because it kind of takes a step forward, and then it, it pauses, and then the actual uppercut moving forward is incredibly fast, but you have this big weight, so you telegraph it, and then it comes together. So this actually hits just as fast as everyone else's uppercuts, but instead of a smooth motion from beginning to end, you kind of break it into two parts that make the, the anticipation a little bit 
better. Um, I am happy with that. All right, chain up. It is just hilarious enough to work. I'll uh, we'll probably boost the jets on as well, so it looks like she's got a little uh, jet action going on. Uh, I'm not sure if that is too many hits or not. I think if it just was the first, second, and fourth hits, I'd be a lot happier with that. It's a bit overwhelming. Uh, sure, if you hit with everything, it's pretty cool, but if you miss at the beginning, you are stuck in that for a long time. Uh, basic chain attack. Okay, that looks okay, except that it is not at all fast, <laughs> which is sort of uh, the whole point of a quick attack. Uh, too slow. Yes. Quick away. I don't think this quite works. The idea here is to uh, duck down and duck a high attack and then come back and hit. I think that is just too goofy. Uh, I'm going to give that a zero and say rework entirely, because uh, that idea is not coming together, I'd say. Stomp attack, great. A sliding trip attack. Uh, Kiru had this, and it was very popular, so I like it. Uh, it also matches with the sliding dodge attacks we saw. Quick out. That is supposed to be an anti-air bite, and it looks nothing like an anti-air bite. Okay. Uh, fierce attacks. Basic fierce. Great. I like that. Good tailspin. It matches Komododon, getting that dark Komododon mirror thing going. Ah! Fierce away. It's a fireball move. Uh, I don't know if it's actually going to shoot a fireball or anything, but it's definitely got something going on with your palms. So I like that. I'm not sure which part of the body is supposed to hit here. Is it supposed to be the feet hit, or is it the tail? Let's see. We need to clarify feet or tail yeah um, great fierce down or fierce towards yeah awesome 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 I love it um, and fierce up. Of course, we gotta have the overhead smash attack. Good. Well, that is pretty good. Um, charging attacks. Uh, we've changed the way we're handling these a bit. What? That does not look like a charge. Um,. Uh, I'm going to come back to that later. <laughs> Looks like he's uh, chasing a dog that's getting away from him. Look at that pose. All right, power attacks. Build up. Has no animation. Fire. Start. Fire loop. All right, it's just missing these. Uh, let me go to the right part of my list. 
Weapon buildup does not exist. Uh, weapon fire. That is... That is not a good fire. Yep. Alright, the power attacks. Yeah, okay. This is the, the belly cannon. I think that's alright. That was a way. Ah, power down. That, I believe, is a rear jet blast attack. Uh, jet attack. Yeah, which is why it looks like that. Power torque. Yes, another jet's attack, giving it a, a little boost forward. And power up. Yeah, belly cannon fired as an anti-air weapon. I like it. Fabulous. All right. Um, so that's the animation review I needed to do tonight for the character. Uh, let me show another couple things in the real game. Um, something else I've hooked up in the last couple of weeks are air attacks. Uh, I believe this works in the editor. But uh, when you jump, you can now use any of your three major attack buttons to slam down to the ground with some sort of attack, like this. Yeah. Or... So from the air... Big kick attack. Uh, so this system kind of blends the best of the uh, Save the Earth and Unleash style. Uh, in Destroy All Monsters Melee and Save the Earth, you had just three attacks you could do in the air, uh, which I thought was very limiting, and they had to all be animated, which didn't really work well. Uh, I couldn't actually jump over things, you couldn't jump over buildings or other characters. Uh, we moved to a completely procedural air system in Godzilla Unleashed, which was much, much better, and I gave you access to all of your attacks in the air, which I thought was awesome and everybody else hated it. So, uh, we're keeping the procedural air system, but we're just giving you three specific attacks rather than uh, everything. Also, less work for me. Yes! Weapon! Awesome! Um, oh, actually, let's... just for fun... Let's see if Komododon's weapon is working. We we fixed this up. I don't I don't know if it was checked in today from the office, but we got some. No, that is not right. Oh well, the nuclear fire. We we really we tuned it up. We had it looking pretty sweet. Um, looks nice in the game. We got the weapon colliders and launch nodes all aligned in the last couple of days. So that's exciting stuff. Um, oh, and you can see Komododon is also his tail. He follows and runs around quickly. Uh, Yay, tail code, and head code, and tracking. Uh, and you can also move the head around with the right stick. We've got all that stuff in. All, all these things I've been saying we we're going to get next, we finally got around to them. Um, I've been talking plenty long. I will end this now. Please uh, feel free to leave comments uh, down below. And uh, join us in on the forums. That's where all the answers are. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye.